I want you to do the same exercise we did at the end of this uh, lesson, and I want you to create your own uh, soft color palette. I want it to be a soft color palette, so something similar to what we have here. I want it to be for a high-end, elegant um, fashion brand, uh, but I want it to be very soft colors. So go ahead and have fun creating create that base hue, create some shades and tints of that, and then create a second hue that you think would pair very well. And make sure you go over to color.adobe if you want to be able to find maybe something on the color wheel that will match that first hue when you're starting to create your second hue. Uh, so that'll be a very helpful website to helping you kind of explore the color wheel. And as you know, with uh, color.adobe, you can check out the different color harmonies like triads, complementary, and of course the trusty monochromatic color scheme. Uh, so you can go ahead and explore that to help you with your project. So your project is to create a very subtle color palette, very low contrast, something for a high-end elegant fashion brand and something similar to kind of this style. Uh, you don't have to replicate those colors, but I want you to kind of go softer. And as a bonus, if you want to keep going with this, I want you to create a vibrant, super vibrant, um, color palette for a children's clothing store. So we want it to be lots of bright hues and different variations of those hues to create a really nice cohesive color palette. So have fun with those two different projects and I look forward to seeing your colors. Of course you can always find inspiration by putting together mood boards as well. You can even find certain colors from those photos. That's a whole other option that we're going to talk about a little bit later. Um, as we explore projects and do branding type of work where we create brand boards, mood boards to also help with color inspiration. So have you, as you've seen, color is complicated. There's a psychology of color. Uh, there's a technical side of color with hues, tints, shades, and values, and tones, and all sorts of stuff. And there's also the inspiration of colors through photography and inspirational um, uh, uh, videos and then just deriving color from life and, 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 and all of that for branding. So you can see that color is not straightforward. There's a lot of different ways that you can derive color palettes and I'm glad to be able to present you several of those in this class.